So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this uh, video, we'll be learning about how we can model the retaining wall in slide software. So, although there is no direct uh, property or tool available in this uh, slide software to simulate uh, retaining wall or piles, but there is an indirect way uh, to model or simulate retaining walls or piles in this version of slide software. There is another uh, software of rock science that is called RS pile. You can use that software to simulate piles. So in this uh, software you can model indirectly. So I'll make you understand that how we can model uh, the retaining wall or piles in the slide software for slope stabilization purpose. So let's start with the analysis. Uh, as I have explained, these terminologies already will not be discussing these things. So let it uh, all be the default properties and I will click OK. Now I will go to the add external boundaries. So I'll make a very rough or simple geometry with assumed values. The purpose is just to make you uh, understand how we can uh, have a, an alternative approach to model retaining wall in slide software. So let's let's see. I've been starting from here. Like this, you must have a snap option on. Let's say uh, this is the geometry, rough geometry. It can be slope or anything else. You have this uh, soil mass and you want to provide the uh, retaining wall uh, here to stabilize the uh, this uh, sliding mass. Uh, so firstly, what will go towards the defined material, I'll be uh, taking the material properties uh, as it is. So just click OK. Now uh, I'll go to the surfaces and we'll click Add uh, Auto Create Surface option. So Display option should create and close. Now firstly, I'll make an analysis and I will check without uh, installing the retaining wall what is the stability of this uh, uh, you can see the vertical slope so i will go directly go to the compute yes okay i'll be saving it now interpret And now here you can see the factor of safety is 0.251. So I will switch to the original model again. Now I will provide a retaining wall. But how? Uh, let's see. I have some uh, literature from where I can make you understand how you can model. So uh, see. As I earlier told you that there is no direct way you can uh, simulate indirectly. So uh, you must know the uh, interface properties. If it's a concrete retaining wall, then you must uh, perform the uh, direct shear test uh, for soil and concrete uh, interface. So here is the literature uh, I studied from this paper that you can uh, use uh, a soil to concrete interface uh, uh, properties. You can perform direct shear box test apparatus to determine shear strength parameters because why we need to uh, see uh, cohesion frictional angle because uh, slides uh, input parameters for modeling uh, material uh, are only uh, cohesion unit weight and angle of internal friction. So if you don't have these values, you will have to determine through experiments or through the correlations. So here is an example. Uh, there is an example of experimental uh, results. Uh, these have been found out 
from concrete interface using our direct shear boxes. So you can see here uh, the results. I'll be using some of the values. I'll be giving the uh, link of this paper in the description box. You can you can uh, see and read this paper. It's very useful. So uh, you can see here uh, the results. I'll be using some of the results. If uh, uh, there is uh, an average normal stress of 277 kPa and 144.76, and 133.48 kPa at displacement values of 8.8 and 8. .8. So you can use the uh, cohesion values from here. I'll be using uh, an uh, arbitrary value. So uh, let's start the modeling in, in the slide software. There is another. There is another paper as well, a very useful paper. Uh, the uh, Mohor Coulomb parameter properties have been determined through the uh, experimental data and correlations have been proposed. So you can use these correlations as well. So this paper is uh, also very useful if you have the uh, numerical data, uh, maximum normal force and so on, then you can determine the Mohor Coulomb uh, model properties and then you can simulate the structural elements in the slide software. So I'll be using uh, a rough value but these values will be in range of concrete. So let's say it's a concrete property, uh, concrete retaining wall. So firstly I will have to define material boundary. So let's say uh, it's a retaining wall. You can use the exact dimensions uh, of the retaining wall from the design. Let's say a cantilever retaining wall. Uh, here is the cantilever retaining wall. So now I will be uh, defining the material properties, define material. I will define material two properties as a retaining wall. Uh, you can stabilize the slope through support system provided in the uh, slide software, but uh, uh, if you don't want to use any support system like uh, uh, anchors and grouty tieback wall or something like that and you want to directly uh, simulate your results then you will have to adopt this approach again yeah this approach is not that reliable it's just my opinion uh, i have served from the literature but uh, there must be some strong uh, valid reference like that so i'll be using the uh, material properties of a uh, concrete retaining wall so uh, derived from the literature so cohesion is very high so let's say it's uh, 200 kPa and the angle of internal friction is 29 then okay now you will have to assign the properties go to the assigned properties of retaining wall from here now the properties have been assigned now I'll make an analysis, compute, yes, and interpret. So you can see here the factor of safety has been improved from 0 0.282. So uh, it depends upon the conditions uh, uh, and the material properties you use. Uh, but again, the material properties should be accurate. Then you can simulate the results. But uh, this is how you can uh, you can uh, provide the retaining wall in the similar way you can provide the retaining wall, uh, piles as well if you want to simulate uh, in, in an indirect way. But there uh, is a there is a, a other way of providing support. I have explained that portion in the in my previous videos providing support to uh, pro providing support to the slope so i will switch to the modeler and switch to the model here there is a support system and uh, from defined support you can see here uh, there are some support system available in the in the slide software 
like and anchor you can provide geotextile grouty tieback grouty tieback with the uh, with the friction and then micro pile you can provide if you have the micro piles you have these properties pile shear strength properties uh new spore type you can uh, you can define here the spore type as well with the capacity so again if you have the capacity and the distance then you can model this uh, support type as well so these are the system you can use which are available in the slide software but if you directly simulate the retaining wall then you can use this technique and you can uh, you can simulate uh, the results as well so if i change the material properties define material uh, define material from 200 to 270 kpa as this is in the range uh, these values are in the range so you can see here in this in this paper that the value can be can be a uh, more than 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 1, 7 kpa and uh, Yes, you can find out the uh, shear strength properties as well. So uh, this is how you can uh, model the retaining wall. I'll, if I change the properties uh, of the uh, material properties to, uh, I'll be just making maximum shear stress of uh, uh, 239.46 kPa and uh, C values you can use 360. 7. Point, uh, 7.0 let me go to the results so that we can use the so here you can see the 126 kpa it all depends on your tests you can use the value as well so if you use uh, the retaining wall uh, you can you can do this okay now assign the properties okay now go to analysis compute yes and interpret I know you can see the factor of safety has been increased to 1.08.